Hi, it's Nicole Gould, the dietitian from Vital Choice Health Store, and today I want to talk about inflammation. Inflammation is really the body's attempt to heal itself after an injury. It helps with defending against unwanted pathogens, and it also repairs damaged tissue. So in small amounts, inflammation can actually be quite healing. The problem is we have much higher than desired amounts of inflammation, and it sets up the stage for having a lot of different diseases. In fact, 80% of diseases are related to inflammation. Everything from Alzheimer's, certain cancers, osteoporosis, of course, pain and arthritis issues as well, diabetes. So you can see there's a lot of different chronic issues that many people commonly suffer from that are in part fueled by inflammation. So why do we have so much inflammation? Well, a few different reasons. Chemical or toxin exposure. This could be just pesticides in our food. This could be pollution, different issues like that. Um, stress. Stress releases cortisol from our adrenals, and cortisol is a stress hormone that really fuels and increases inflammation. And of course, something that's very close to my heart is our diet. We tend to eat a diet rich in corn, peanuts, dairy, sugar, and processed grains, and all of those things are highly inflammatory. When you also take into the account that we don't eat many foods that decrease inflammation, we are very imbalanced, and that's what is really, I believe, fueling a lot of different disease states. So what can we do about this inflammation? Well, of course, diet is a great place to start. We can increase our healthy fats, things like olive oil, um, avocados, walnuts, and definitely wild fish. We really should be eating wild fish three times a week. Wild salmon, wild sardines, wild tuna, any of those fish are very rich in omega-3s. Omega-3s I think are pretty big, you've probably heard about them by now, but one of the great benefits is decreasing inflammation. Our diet, like I mentioned, is so high in omega-6s that are inflammatory and so low in omega-3s, and we really want to make that a lot more balanced or even increase the omega-3s a little bit higher than the 6s, just so we can put that um, inflammation at a decreased rate as much as possible. That is going to set yourself up for optimal health. You're gonna feel better, probably won't have as many pain issues, and it will certainly lower your disease risk. So increasing your healthy fats is a great place to start. Decreasing processed foods and sugars, that's a big one, because again, those really fuel inflammation. Drinking things like green tea. Green tea is wonderful for inflammation and also very high in antioxidants. A Lot of good research on green tea. Um, and increasing our herbs and spices. We tend to get caught up in using salt and pepper and that's about it. We need to branch out more. A lot of other cultures are using things like turmeric and ginger, um, rosemary, wild oregano on a daily basis. And they have a much lower risk of these inflammatory type diseases and I believe the spices are one of the main reasons. If you're looking to just be proactive and prevent and maybe just set yourself up for optimal health, using spices in your diet can be a great way to do that. But if you have more of a chronic issue, you may have to turn to a supplement and there are some wonderful supplements out there. Everything from green tea supplements to turmeric to combination formulas. One great formula is by New Chapter called Zyflamend, and it combines the green tea, rosemary, oregano, ginger, a whole list of different anti-inflammatory type spices. So when these herbs are put together, they have a great uh, synergistic effect at lowering inflammation, much greater than taking any one of those spices by themselves. So if you'd like more information on the different supplements that you can take, feel free to give us a call or if you're local, stop into the store or we'll have some links down below and you can learn more about Zyflamend or check out our website.